Tuesday morning. Good morning and welcome to 7 a.m. bar with me, Lizzie. I am just getting everything good to go so we can get started. I'm just logging into Instagram right now. Um, as usual, I put the links in for music, so Facebook is good if you guys want to follow along with Spotify. And I will just put the link in here. Oh, that's the rest of my living room. Um, here for face uh, Instagram too. Flip that camera back around. Ooh, there we go. So we are good to go. If you want to follow along, you have music, um, or you can use whatever music you'd like. Really. Um, thank you so much again for joining me. We're gonna get ready for our bar workout. As always, if you have a squishy ball, um, pillow, rolled up towel, that's great. Um, low weight hand weights or cans or water bottles, I normally use between like three or four pounds because you know with bar it's all about repetition. And then any sort of like a pole, back of a chair, something to just have some stability. And again, if you guys have been following, I always use my Swiffer because it's always right here. So we will get started. We have um, our warm up to start. Then we're gonna get right into our playing track. Um, but first we wanna warm up, get the blood flowing and get ready to rock for Tuesday morning. Um, I have my music um, in one ear just to kind of keep beat because we can't play music um, over Facebook and Instagram. So I like to kind of pause my music in between tracks and things like that. So just letting you guys know. Okay, so we're gonna start in second position. Your feet are wide, feet are turned out. Ball's gonna be right here at the chest and hands are gonna be out. And you're gonna be pulsing down and up. Really neat, nice and easy to start. You want a little bit of pressure on the ball to engage your upper body. Good. Good, now up and down, up and down. Good, warming up the legs, warming up the upper body too. Good. Now we're gonna go opposite way here, nice and slow with these. Good. Just a little diagonal stretch to the back. Good. Now just a little bit of a ball toss here, nice and easy. Again, going to the diagonal, reaching up. Good. We have a few of these here. Increasing our speed. Starting to feel nice and warm. Good, now we're gonna take the right knee up. Good. We have a 16 count of these. Add a little bit of a crunch here. Good, opposite side. Good. Keep that balance. Awesome, almost there. Good, now in a lunge, we are going to rotate to the side. Warming up the obliques with a little bit of a um, pulse lunge here. Good. Squeezing that ball. Awesome, keep going. Good, now you have um, squat and lift, squat and lift, squat and lift, squat and lift. Opposite leg back. Turning to the opposite direction. Pulsing it out here. Good. Just a few more. Good, now we have outside knee touches here. Wide, keeping in our second position. Awesome, keep going. Now we have that ball toss. Again, getting a little bit deeper. 
going through that second position, pulling those legs back. Good. Pointing those feet to the back. Awesome, almost there. Good, take that ball down and pull those legs up. Give yourself one more down and up, down and up. So now we have our plank track. We're feeling nice and warm, especially after all those ball tosses. We're gonna take the ball in between our legs um, before we walk down to our plank. So whatever you're using, make sure it goes high up in between the thighs here, and you're gonna be squeezing it before we walk down. So I'm just gonna get our music all set for our plank and push-up track. Just making sure we are good to go. Okay, so ball is high between the legs, squeezing that. We're gonna to come to the end of our mat and walk our hands all the way down now we always like to start with a nice hold here. Try to get those wrists under our shoulders. If you have any wrist issues, like myself, you might just want to grab a weight just to make sure that you're not putting too much pressure on that wrist. Take that right leg, squeezing it in, in. Good, so your right leg is up off the floor and you're squeezing and pulsing that ball in. Good. One more set of eight. Awesome. Opposite leg. Squeezing. Just really small movements here. One more set of eight. Good. Pull up for two, down for two. Up for two, good, and down for two, nice and slow. Now we're gonna come down for some push-ups, good. We have eight here, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have pulses, pulse it. Good, we have 16 pulses here. Stay nice and low. One more set. Keep pulsing. Good. Now, we are up and we have side to side cardio surge. Keeping squeezing that ball. Legs are side to side. One more set. Good. Push back. Take a deep breath in and out. Good. Now, taking that ball, we don't need it anymore. Getting that out of the way. Coming down onto forearm plank. Holding. Nice long hold here. Now we're gonna push up and come back down. Push up, holding. Good. Knees are down and up, down and up, holding. Nice long forearm plank here. Knees are still down and up. Push all the way back. Good. Now we have another cardio surge coming up. So hopefully you're feeling nice and warm like me. We're gonna come back out into those forearms. Legs are out and in. Good. 
Still on those forearms. Legs are coming up and in, nice and quick. If you need modification, tap, tap, in, in, tap, tap. Good, hold. Nice and still. Good, push back. Good. Now, we have our side plank series. Up on forearm here. Arm is up. Holding. Transition to your opposite side. Holding up. Good. Hips are lifted. And come down. Good. So we are good with our plank and push-up track. So we're going to move to upper body. So we're going to come to standing. You want to grab whatever weights you're using. We don't need the ball right now. So we'll just make sure that that's just going to, doesn't go rolling around. So grab um, water bottles, weights, whatever you have. We're going to come to standing. Um, and we're going to come to um, a wide second position. Just making sure the music is good. Okay, so wide second, all about our biceps and triceps here. So we're gonna have a little bit of a pulse in the legs, but you wanna think all in the arms. Good, legs and arms at the same time. Nice and easy at first, good. Want those arms a little away from your body? Good, pulsing it. So if I were to turn to the side, Good, arms are just a little bit away, so you know you're engaging them and not just flopping them next to your side there. Good, pulsing it. Good. We have our 32 sets of pulses here. Nice and easy with the legs. Good, now we have um, U-shape lifts, good. Legs are just coming side to side, side to side, U-shape lifts. Now, curtsy, lunge, platter, serve. Good. Curtsy, lunge, arms are coming straight out from the body. One more set of eight. Good. Opposite side. Remember, arms are straight out from the body here. Good. Now, relax those shoulders. Roll them out. Come to parallel. So feet are just in parallel position here. Arms are going to come back into tricep here. So arms are behind me. Elbows are close. Close to those ears. Good. Easy up and down here. Good. Pulsing it up, up. Good. Pulsing that all the way up. Awesome. Keep those pulses. Nice and lifted in your center. Now, coming back to second position, platter service out, alternating heel lifts. Good. Good. Arms are coming straight away from the body. Legs are sinking down into the center. Good. Really feeling it in the bicep and the tricep.
Good, you know it's all about that repetition here. Good, now just your right side. Good. Left side. Just a few more here. Awesome. Good. So, that upper body track is done. Now, we're going to come down to the floor for our second upper body track. So, we are going to be down on the floor. We do need our balls to help us just for some stability in the back there. So we need um, weights and we're gonna be down on the floor. Um, so just make sure you have your weights and we'll come to a seated position. Okay. So I'm gonna go a little bit on the diagonal here. Let's see if I can position myself here. So ball behind the back here. Legs are bent. So, our arms holding here, just a little bit of a hold to get ourselves set up. Up and down, up and down. Easy to start, like always. Good. Nice, easy shoulder lifts here. Good. Pulsing it. Small pulses. Lifting in your center. Up and down. Up and down. Good. Good. Nice and tight here. Back to pulses. Sitting up nice and straight here. Lift it in your center. Awesome. Good, now, weights are down. Legs are coming out to straight, straight pointed out in front of you. Ball's gonna go back behind you. You're gonna be leaning back so your core is engaged. And we're gonna come back to those shoulder lifts. But now your core is engaged more. You're on a little bit of that angle. Good. Really starting to feel it in your shoulders and your core is really engaged here. Pulses. Good. Keep that neck nice and long. Legs long in front of you. Good. Keep the chest lifted. Almost there. Good. Take a breather for a second. Reset that ball. Arms are coming down and up. Down, nice and long and up. Down and up. Keeping them as long as possible. Just a few more here. Good. Okay, so weights are to the side. I want you to flip over to your stomachs. Arms are gonna be out long and you're gonna have opposite arm and opposite leg lifts. So left leg, right arm, and then alternate. Good, opposite arm, opposite leg. Good. Keeping that neck nice and long. Good, opposite, keep with those opposites. Squeezing the glutes, feeling it in your back. Here are your pulses, both 
arms and legs. Good. Almost there. Good. Keep breathing. Good. And push back. Awesome. Okay. So we have one more track before our mid-class stretch. So for this track, you are gonna need your balls. It's our core track track. So grab those balls or whatever you're using. Balls are gonna be up um, like mid-thigh. So not all the way up. Arms are gonna be reclined. Legs are gonna be straight up. So you wanna have a nice open chest. Legs are in, really tucking those legs in, focusing on your core, small movements here, nice and controlled, good. You wanna keep the chest nice and open, try to keep the neck as long as possible. All really focusing on scooping out that core. Good, just a few more. Awesome. Good, so legs are gonna come down. You are gonna get yourself set up in an ab lock hold position. So we're here. Your arms can be out in front of you or they can be just lightly touching. But I want you to be as low as you possibly can get. Now you're holding it. Now, if you're just logging in, kind of just looks like I'm sitting here. But if you reach those hands out, really feel those abs engaging, try to lower your back just so you can feel that. Holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it. Good. Remember, it's all about that strength and stillness. Awesome, take those hands together. Oblique twists. Good. Good. 16 on each side. Opposite side. One more set. Awesome, cutting just right across through those bleaks. So we're gonna get our legs nice and long in front of us. Ball's gonna go behind the back. Arms are gonna come up towards the crown of the head. Small crunches here. Pulling yourself up and away from the ball. Good. All the way crunching in. And again, does not look like much, very effective. Good, keeping that neck long, breathing. Back to your oblique twists. Good. Cutting all the way across. Opposite direction. Good. Keeping that chest nice and open and proud. Awesome, we're gonna go back to the opposite side with a leg lift. Same oblique twists. Lift that right leg. Good. Keeping that core nice and engaged. Opposite side. Good. Keep going. Keeping lifted. Okay, back to those crunches. Good, lifting up 
off of that ball. Nice and easy. Good, now ball is out from behind the back. You're gonna take a little bit of a bolt, boat hold here. So legs are up, have some, have some dog hair on me. Arms are long holding it. Good, and relax. Legs are down. We're gonna take ourselves into our mid-class stretch. So I want everyone to come long on their mat, laying on their stomachs again. So we're gonna come all the way down. We're gonna take that right arm and right leg, pull that right leg all the way up, all the way up to the bum. Good, take that leg down. Bring that right leg, I mean, your right arm all the way up. Feed your left arm through. And look in the opposite direction of the arm that's feeded through. Good, now take that left arm, grab your left leg, pulling that leg in, nice and gentle, nice and easy. Good, take that left arm, reach it all the way up, feed your right arm through. Looking to the right. Good, now push yourself up, holding, looking up, neck is long. Good, push yourself up to kneeling. You can be here or you can be up, whatever is more comfortable for you. Bring those arms open, nice and wide here. Good, clasp those hands forwards, rounding that back. Good, pulling those arms back, give yourself a nice stretch here. One arm is gonna come across. Elbow is back. You can lean into that one. Elbow is opposite elbow is across. Remember to keep it nice and low. Across the body, across the chest. Take that elbow back. Lean into this one. Good. Now push yourself into downward facing dog. Pedal out those feet. Because if you're an avid bar taker, you know what track is coming next. You know it's the thigh track. One of my favorites. I want to make sure that those legs are good to go. Good. Walk those feet in. And rolling yourself up. Okay. So we are going to take our bars, or if you need the back of a chair, whatever you're using, so you have your bars. We don't need our balls. Okay, so we have our thigh track here. Okay. So, we're going to start in first position. Bar is in our right hand, because we're going to do a right side and a left side. Only one song, though. So, we have our down and up. Down and up. Good. Now, remember... Your bar is only there just in case you need it. So really light hand on the bar. Laying down, releve up, plie down, releve. 
Good. Good. Almost ready. Now take that right foot back into third position. So third position is where your front heel meets the middle of your back foot. Good. Come back just a little bit so you can see. There we go. Just your releve is up. Good. Nice and high on those toes. Slowly down, all the way back up. Slowly releve, I mean plie down, releve up. Two more. One more. Now we're pulsing it down, down, good. Remember though, we're still in releve, meaning we're still up on those toes. Backs are straight. Keep with those pulses. Staying nice and lifted in the chest, core still engaged. Good. Now we have pulse down, tuck up. Pulse down, tuck up. Good. Pulse, lift, tuck, squeeze. Pulse, lift, tuck, squeeze. Good. Awesome. Keep with that. Pulse down, lift, tuck, squeeze. Good, now just the lift, tuck, squeeze. You're still up in that releve, still on your toes. All you're doing, I'm gonna to turn to the side, lift, tuck, squeeze, lift, tuck, squeeze. Good, awesome. Only a few here. And then we're gonna to go to your opposite side. Lift, tuck, squeeze, lift, tuck, squeeze, good. Bar is coming to the opposite hand. We're going to come back to that first position. Down and up. Down and up. Good. Left foot behind. Releve up. There we go. Pulling it up. Keeping it nice and tall and lifted. Down. Down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, one more, down, down, and up, up, pulsing it down. Good. Remember, don't forget about engaging the core here. Very important. You want to really be able to utilize as many muscles as you can. Squeezing, really feeling it in the thighs. Awesome. Now we have our combo here. Down, up, lift, tuck, squeeze. Down, lift, tuck, squeeze. Pulse down, lift, tuck, squeeze. Good. Pulsing it down, lift, tuck, squeeze. Pulse it down, lift, tuck, squeeze. Good. Now, just your lift, tuck, squeeze. Good. Pulsing it out here. Stay high in that releve, meaning you're still on those toes this whole time. Good. We are almost there to go into our last little section of our thigh track. Just a few, few more lift up squeezes here. You're staying lifted in the thighs. Good. Okay, so your bar or whatever you're holding is gonna come back into the right hand. Your right foot is coming down in the back for a lunge. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Good. Down and up, down and up, down and up, down, up, pulsing it down. Good. Good. Remember to keep that core, core engaged. 
lift to chest. Good, now we're gonna add a little bit of a jump. Good, jump lunging here. Awesome. Good, opposite foot. Down, down and up, down and up, good. Keep going, pulsing it down, good. Pulsing down. Here are our, our lunges, our jump lunges. Good, just a few here. Good, okay, bars away. Thighs should be on fire. So it's ready for a little bit of a thigh stretch before we go into our hip and seat track, which you know you're gonna need a little bit of a stretch. So let's get that stretch in now. Right foot is in front. Long, long, long runner's lunge here. I want that knee to come down and up. Down and up. Good, put that knee down. I want to get nice and deep into that front leg. Back leg is nice and long. Push yourself back. Flex that foot. Feel that in the hamstring. Good. Pushing yourself up. Step that back foot in just slightly. Give yourself more dynamic stretch in here. Down and up. Good, a little bit more of a narrow stance. Good. Good, step that back foot in. Send that opposite foot back. Nice and long runner's lunge. Knee is down and up. Down and up. Good, put that knee down. Keep that back leg nice and long. Come deep into that um, front stretch here. Good. Push yourself back. Heels up. Good. Feeling it all the way back in the hamstring. Stepping that back foot in. More narrow of a stance here. Down and up still. Good, step that back foot in. Hang over those legs. Slowly roll yourself up. Good, roll those shoulders out. Okay, so we're gonna get ready for our hip and seat track. Let me get the music. For this track, you're gonna need your bar and then keep your balls close by because you're going to need your balls just for a little bit at the end. Okay. Okay. So, bar is in your right hand and you're working your right leg. So right leg is going to come behind you, up and down, up and down. Now your right leg is coming all the way back to that six o'clock position, tapping up and down, up and down, up and down, up. Now keeping it up, pulsing that foot up. Good, you wanna keep nice and lifted. I'm gonna back myself up just a little bit so I don't hit that chair there. There we go, good. Pulsing that leg up. Now, we have one of my favorite parts, those little baby circles. Up and around, up and around, up and around. Keep one direction for eight counts. Good. You wanna think that you're drawing like the size of a grapefruit, opposite direction. Good. Now don't be alarmed if you start to feel this in your opposite seat muscle. So in your opposite butt cheek, basically. That standing leg is still getting a workout. Good. Now, if you have a bar, you can put it into your opposite hand. 
leg is coming on the diagonal. Good, you're still working that right leg. You've just come into warrior three. A little bit of a diagonal here. Leg is coming to the back diagonal. So no more six o'clock here. Good, pulsing that leg up. Good. Awesome, keep going with those pulses. Good, now you're gonna come up, straight up a little bit. You're still working that outside leg. Bar can come um, more straight to the opposite side. Leg is coming to the side. Flexed, pointed, flexed, pointed, good. Straight out to the side. Flex, pointed, flexed, pointed, flexed, pointed, good. Good. Now take that curtsy lunge down, leg up. Good. Good. Leg is out to the side. You can flex the foot, getting a little bit more of a stretch there. Keep that leg out to the side, knee kicks back. Good, no ball, just those kicks. Out to the side here. Good. Don't forget to engage that core to keep yourself nice and stable. Good, leg is down. I'm gonna put our poles down for a second. Grab your ball. You're gonna be working that right leg. So I'm gonna come this way. Put your ball behind that working leg. So the right leg that you were just working. Ball's behind the knee. Foot is up in the back here. Pulsing it up. Good. We have 32 pulses here. Awesome, point that toe up to the ceiling. Keep going. Good, now we have crunch in, opposite arm out. So you're shooting that left arm, crunching it in, shooting it out. Crunch in, shoot out, good. Don't forget to squeeze that ball so it doesn't come popping out. Good. Awesome, keep going. Good. Now, we're gonna come open to the side here. Arm will be over here. Leg is coming straight out to the side with U lifts up. Basically making a U with your knee. Good, like you're drawing the letter U. There you go. Up, 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 good. Almost there. Good, take that ball out from behind the knee. Bring your right foot forwards into a comfortable seated position. Roll that ball ball forwards. Just get a little bit of a stretch here before you know we have to pop up and do it on the exact, um, or your opposite side, but the same choreograph, choreography. Okay, so balls are away for now. We are going to pop up and do the opposite leg because we can't be lopsided. So, same exact thing. You know it's coming. This side's always a little bit more difficult because your working leg is now tired because it was just working. So, left arm, left leg. Touch down and up. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Good. Good. Remember, you're coming straight back to 6 o'clock. Pulsing it up. Good. So just pulsing that leg up, squeezing your seat muscle here. Keeping yourself nice and tall and lifted. 
squeezing. You know those circles are coming. Circle around. Good. Only eight one direction, eight the other direction. Good, keep yourself lifted. Opposite direction. Imagine yourself just drawing a circle with those toes. Good, don't forget about the core. Don't let yourself wobble. Good, you can put the bar into the opposite hand if you want, but it's all about just taking that leg back onto the diagonal. Good. Awesome. Two more sets. Keeping it lifted. Really feeling it in that standing leg. Awesome. Good. Now we're going to come up just a little bit straighter. Bar can come to the side instead of the diagonal. Leg is coming straight out to the side. Flexed, pointed. Flexed, pointed. Working that side leg, side thigh here. Good, feeling it in that opposite leg. Good. Good, now curtsy lunge down and up, down and up. Good, that curtsy lunge feels good on that working standing leg to get a little bit of a bend. Good. And flex that foot to the side. Awesome. Now you have that same working leg, knee kicks. Keep yourself lifted on that standing leg. Awesome. Good. Okay, so bars coming to the side. I'm going to grab the ball coming down to all fours. Remember your working leg. It's your left leg. Hopefully it's your left leg or whatever leg you've been working. Put that ball behind the knee. Coming down to all fours. Just working that left leg. Make sure that ball's squeezed. Pulsing that leg straight up. Making sure you're engaging that seat muscle, squeezing that seat muscle. And again, like always, don't forget, don't forget about keeping that core nice and tight. Now you wanna crunch in, reach out. Crunch in, reach out, good. Crunching in with that opposite hand, opposite leg. Good. Awesome, okay, now we're gonna come to the side. Your leg is coming straight out to the side, making that you with your knee, good. Little U shapes here, up and back, up and back. Almost there. Good, you can take that ball from behind the knee, put that left leg in front, Working leg is in front. Roll that ball out in front of you. Feel those seat muscles relax into your stretch here. Good. Okay, so we're going to roll that ball to the side. I'm going to pause my music just for a second. And we have our last working track. I want to get our weights out. And you're going to start in a bridge position. You only need your weights. So let me just get our music.
Okay. So you're gonna start in that bridge position. Nice and long on the mat here. Arms are gonna be up. Slowly roll yourself up. And we're holding. All you're doing is holding here. So remember, you're lifted in that bridge. Bums are off the floor. Right leg up, left leg up. Good. Take those arms down, legs up, arms are down. Good. Now pulsing it. Good. You want to think of your arms are coming down close by your sides, more so triceps here. Lifting in your bridge here. Lift, tuck, squeeze. If you want to challenge, come onto the toes. Lift, tuck, squeeze with that arm pulse. Good. Now, legs are up, coming down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. And come onto the diagonal here. Don't want to kick my bookcase. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Just a few more. Good. Awesome. Now back to that bridge. Pulsing it up, I mean holding it up. Arms are up. Legs, alternating right and left leg kick, arms are holding, good, just your right leg, lift that right leg like someone's pulling you up from that right leg, good, arms are pulsing down, opposite leg, Good. Remember, try to stay as lifted as you can in your bridge here. Pulling that opposite leg up. Okay, legs are up. Arms are pulsing up towards those legs. Reaching. Reaching as high as you can. Good. Keeping that neck long, breathing. Good, now we have down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Good. Down, down, up, up. Just a few more. Down, down, up, up. Holding legs and tabletop, arms are up. Good, and weights are down. We have finally made it to our last and final stretch here. Bring those legs out all the way. Bring those arms up long behind your head. Give yourself a nice long stretch here. Bring those arms over your body and grab those legs in. Rock side to side. Keeping that right leg in. Sending it up. Walking that hand up as high as you can. And flex and point the foot. Take the leg across your body. Looking the opposite direction. Good. 
Good, roll back to center. Take that opposite knee in, pulling it in. Taking that leg up. Coming to meet that leg. Flex and point it. Take it across your body. Looking at in the opposite direction. Good, taking those legs back to center. Slowly roll yourself up. Come all the way over those legs. Good, I'm gonna face the front here, take one knee in, opposite leg is pointed, come to meet that leg. Slowly roll yourself up, bring your opposite leg in. Point that toe, come to meet that leg. Rolling yourself up. Take those feet together. Bring your arms up and out. Rolling yourself up. Take those legs to a comfortable seated position. Bring your um, arms in, give yourself a deep breath in. Exhale it out. One more breath in. And exhale out. Thank you guys so much for joining me on another Tuesday edition of Bar Classes with me, Lizzie. I hope you guys had a good workout and I will see you guys hopefully next Tuesday. Have a good rest of your day. See you guys later. And Facebook, I will see you next Tuesday. Have a good day.